Okay, so we're going to show how we can save uh, multiple uh, high scores for multiple uh, levels in um, Unity with player press. So I've just got a very simple uh, scene here. So um, if I start this playing, I can add to my score. So I'm um, currently playing, I've got a high score, and I can save that high score. And you can see if I start that again, my high scores uh, save there. So what's happening here is I've just got a, um, a function to save the high score. Uh, I'm using player prefs um, dot set int. I'm saving it as high score and I'm passing it my uh, level score, which is just what ticks up when I click that button. So um, obviously if we've got more than uh, one level using this, um, we're just gonna overwrite whatever's in the, the high score value um, when we use that on the second level. So what we can do um, is give each uh, level a uh, level number. Uh, and if we come up here, um, we can set this in the inspector. So uh, if we serialize a field with uh, an int of level number. So if I save this, and you can see that's now here. So if I set this uh, scene one, so if that's a level one, and if it goes to the scenes, I'll duplicate this in a second. Um, but we're now saving that as uh, level number one. So what we can do here uh, is instead of a uh, high score, just high score, where we, we're setting this, um, we can also say it's, it's going to save as high score um, plus, and then we'll use the level number. So it'll be high score one or high score zero one, whatever you set it as. So uh, obviously if you had quite a few levels, you'd use zero one. So um, we're setting it as high score plus the level number, so high score one. Uh, and then what we need to do when we're retrieving that, when we're showing and displaying the high score, is uh, is get that integer. So play uh, dot get int. We want to do exactly the same. So it's the high score plus the level number. Okay. So if I save that, and I'll set that. Uh, so I've set that to one. See, we're starting again. So we can add to score, save the high score. If I start again, uh, my high score saved and it works exactly the same way as before. So um, what we can do now though, if I clear the uh, player preferences, um, if I duplicate that, that scene and we'll say this is level two. And then the, the object where I've got that, that script attached in, in level two, I can now set this to, uh, to level number two. If I, uh, if I save that. Um, so we'll, we'll start from scratch, so uh, level one, if I play that, so let's set the high score to three, and you'll see when I now go to level two, and play on level two, uh, the high score on level two is zero, and we can uh, save that, so we've got a high score now of seven, now if we go back to level one, and you see we're setting the level number here, um, and if I play that, the high score will still be three. It's still our high score for that level. So that's how you can save um, high scores for multiple levels using uh, player preferences. You just um, set it whatever value you're um, referring to uh, as the, the, the name of the, the player preference setting, and then add your level number, which we're setting here, um, which we can um, amend in the inspector for each level. And there we go.